Hey everybody and welcome to another JASP tutorial. In this tutorial I want to talk about some of the new changes to the frequencies module in JASP 0.15. Oh, I'm so excited for all of these changes. So let's open up some really quick data and see what the frequency modules have, uh, have added. Let's open up some data for the frequencies module. So first let's go to uh, hamburger menu, open, data library. Let's go to number five here, frequencies. Let's open up this folder. And so we can grab some of these. Um, so we've got log linear analysis. Uh, let's just grab this first one, dancing cats. I don't think I've ever done this one before. So we have training, food as reward or affection as reward. And we have, you know what? I have used this one before. And we have dance. Did they dance? Yes. Or did they know? And then we have, so we have four groups here. What training that they received, what dance, whether or not they danced, yes or no. So let's do this. So we go into frequencies because those are the things that were changed. We go into frequencies and let's do contingency tables because those are the most of the changes. We've got Gutman and Kruskal's lambda for contingency tables as well as odds ratio. So let's just go in there because that's what we want. And we want training by rows and dance by columns. Okay, so we've got training as affection or food, and we have dances, yeses or no. So contingency tables are going to tell us, us they basically counts tables, right? So 114 affection as rewards did not dance, 48 did dance, and food as reward, 10 did not dance, and 28 danced. And so we have totals here for each of the rows and columns, which leads to our total end, which is 200. Okay, so that's basic. And then by default, you get the chi-square test of independence for here. Okay, so, so that's by default here. We have that selected. But um, one thing that we can get now is the odds ratio. And you can see that it's a, a two by two only. And that's what we have. We have a, a two by two. And so we can get that odds ratio. And by default, they'll give us the log odds, which is generally the statistic that you see when talking about odds ratio. Um, and we can get a uh, confidence interval and whether or not uh, we want to choose a alternative hypothesis for Fisher's is exact test for this, right? And so this gives us a p-value. Odds ratio does not give us a p-value. It just gives us the odds for one outcome versus another outcome, okay? And, and, and the log of that, of course. So that's what we get here. And this is new, right? So we can get the log odds ratio. So if you're not familiar with what a logs odds, log odds, it's very hard to say, log odds ratio is, that, or what the odds ratio value is, it's the statistic that tells us the strength between two events, dance and training in this case, okay? So it's the odds of A, we'll call um, the reward, affection, or food, in the presence of dancing, yes or no, Versus the odds of the presence of A, affection or food, with no, or absence of B, we should say. Okay, so we will say that if the odds ratio equals one, in this case it does not equal one, then these two things are not independent of one another. Okay, so we can only say that two events are independent if the odds ratio is one. And in, in this case, it is not. So we can say that there is some dependence between these two variables, affection and food, and whether or not there was dancing. And I think you can see the difference here. Food as reward, um, when food is reward, the cats will dance. When affection is reward, there's no comparison here. There's definitely no comparison, <laughs> which I think is hilarious. But um, it's very, very, very cat. We can see that with the odds ratio being almost two, 1.895, that these two are related. They are dependent on one another. Okay, so the presence of A does require the presence of B. And I think, again, we can get that from the best difference between dancing and getting food as a reward. If this was less than one, then we could say that there is a relationship between one of these and not no, no dancing or no reward, I should say. The so dancing without reward, we'll say. So getting the odds ratio in JASP is really good because it's, it's, it's just another way to show that two variables, especially two nominal variables in a contingency table, are connected in some way. So it's just a, it, so this is you know, the test of independence between um, the two variables, and we have a significant test, which means they are not independent of one another, and the log odds ratio tells us that, and the Fisher exact test gives us a similar, uh, a similar um, outcome to the chi-square test of independence. So that's really cool. The other thing that we now get... Uh, in frequencies is Gutman and Kruskal's lambda, which I believe is this button here, this lambda button for rows, columns, and the symmetric location for them. Okay, and um, you know we can get phi and Kramer's v here as well, or phi, depending on how you pronounce that. Um, now the other thing that they added for frequencies is a more informative footnote when phi cannot be calculated, but I don't think I'm going to have that situation here. And just to check whether we want to add additional information, options, row orders ascending, column orders ascending, descending, that's fine. We can also get our expected counts here. And, and so you can see that the expected count for affection and no dancing was 100 and we're far greater than that and so on and so forth. But I think really the big one here is nearly double the uh, dancing for food as reward, which is pretty, pretty crucial. So having odds ratio is just another way to 
you know, to help us out here. And having confidence intervals is always nice for these kinds of tests. So not only using p-values, but also other forms of comparing data and explaining outcomes that are extreme and useful, meaningful, interesting, these kinds of words beyond just p-values. So that's a step in the right direction as ex for expanding our uh, expanding our statistical horizons beyond null hypothesis statistical testing, NAH, NHST. So those are the changes to contingency tables in the frequencies module for JASP 0.15. If you like this video, consider leaving a like. If you like this content, consider subscribing. For more videos on statistics, psych, you name it. Thanks for watching. Bye.